Warning. Pussies, dickless little liberals, and the whole goddamn Democratic Party will not make it through the intro. Please, just fuck off now. You are not a dickless little fucking pickle-licking piece of shit, little baby-ass, pussy-ass little bitch. What's up, motherfuckers? Wishing you both a gracious good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it may be for you, wherever the world you motherfuckers may be. Thank you for coming and hanging out with me for a couple minutes today. I appreciate that shit. You know what we're going to do? We're going to fucking tell some jokes. We're going to fucking make fun of some cops, some retards. Hopefully, we can learn something from the interactions highlighted today. Hopefully, I can introduce you folks to a channel that you haven't yet seen before. What a fucking day today has been. Actually, the last couple of days have been kind of fucking weird, right? Now, I'm sure that all of us... Okay, listen. Because this pisses me off, right? Let me get into something with you motherfuckers real quick. I'm sure that we've all seen the news story about the Chicago teen who was just in his car who the police happened to just murder. So, I'm watching this fucking mother do her interview with, with the news, right? And she's trying to turn this into a fucking civil rights movement. She's like, oh my baby, he just bought that car three days ago. He was driving around. Then she got real dramatic. She was like... And they killed him. Oh, 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 they killed him. Hey, Tank Tank, that's what police do when you aim a gun and shoot at them. Now, look, I'm all about fuck the police. I will motherfuck the police up and down the wall. I fuck all of them. I don't fuck you. I don't care. Fuck you. We don't need you. I don't need you. I don't call you. Fuck you. I will motherfuck the police all day long. But if your idiot, fucking stupid, retarded kid pulls a gun on police officers and fires at them, what do you think they're going to do? Do you think they're going to be like, oh, well, I initially pulled this car over for a fucking seat belt, but, but since this fucking retarded-ass little fucking schmuck had the nerve to pull a gun out and fire around at me, you know what, boys? <sighs> Let's just let this one go. We're going to go head back to the coffee shop and get some donuts. Is that what you think is going to happen, bitch? No, that ain't going to happen. And it doesn't matter what color your fucking skin is. If you pull a gun on police and, and fire around at them, they're going to return fire. You're not just going to go away, you fucking retarded dumbass schmuck. What's wrong with people? Why can't anybody be fucking honest? And that's another thing. Like, you watch all these fucking news stories. You ever notice that shit? Like, okay, something fucking tragic will happen in somebody's fucking community. And somebody will end up being murdered or killed or whatever the case is. And the fucking news will interview the neighbors. And they'll be like, well, what did you think of this guy? And the neighbors are all like, oh, I can't understand it. This is a travesty. He was just a kid. I don't understand it. I don't get it. I don't get it. One time. I wish these motherfuckers would come and interview me one time. I'd be like, yeah, I can understand it 100%. He was a fucking little piece of shit. Him and the fucking rest of the cartel that snuck across the border have been squatting in the house down the street there a little bit. They sell firearms, mostly to me, by the way, but they do sell firearms. They sell drugs. They have people coming in and out of the house. Yeah. I 100% believe that's going to happen. If you're going to walk around with bandanas hanging off your ass, blaming different gang sets and dumb shit, dumb shit's going to happen to you. No, I'm not surprised that that happened. He was a piece of shit. Fuck him. The world's a better place without him. Although now I go back to paying full price for weapons. One time, I want people to fuck with me. Just one fucking time, man. And I'm trying to explain that to one of these fucking kids. Now, this little piece of shit, this little fucking degenerate sh Buck. He's sitting there smoking an e-cigarette, right? And this motherfucker's watching me smoke one of my cigarettes, and this little piece of shit got the nerve to tell me, he said, oh, you smoke cigarettes? Cigarettes kill people. Cigarettes ruin lives. They ruin the earth. They take everything from you. They, they, they cause death and destruction, and they just ruin your life. They take everything from you. And when he said that, all I can think of is, you know what? House come pussy doesn't come with that same warning label. That's what I want to fucking know. How come pussy doesn't come with that same warning label? Every pair of women's gutties should have a big ass fucking warning label right in the front of them that says something along the lines of, look, enter here. They're here. If you want to start a relationship with somebody who's going to do nothing but sit on a couch and get fatter all day long, and eventually you're going to lose everything you worked your whole entire life for because they decided they needed more attention and you worked too goddamn much. So then they go out and they start being fucking cheating little whores with people who are unemployed talking about, well, he got time for me. I bet he got time for you, you wretched pig-ass bitch. Speaking of wretched pig-ass bitches, this is another fucking thing, right? Okay. I'm on my way home from work. I happen to notice... Okay. 
I noticed an accident, right? And it was a big fucking semi kind of crashed into the back of a, a homosexual's car. I mean, he was clearly a homosexual. He was one of them ones that wanted the whole world to know how gay he was. He was just, I'm so gay, I'm so gay, I'm so gay, and I'll scratch and claw because I'm so gay. He was one of them. No, I witnessed this whole accident happen. I witnessed this whole accident take place. Now, okay, so the car in front of this semi, right, jams on his brakes, the semi fucking hits the back of him, right? I get out of the car and I'm wondering, like, everybody all right? Everybody cool, right? And, and then this little fucking homosexual, right? This little abomination gets out of his little fucking Prius. And he comes fucking, he comes around, right? The guy just driving the truck, he gets out. Now these motherfuckers are like, no, nah, two people are pissed off, right? It was just in an accident. So this fucking little, this little homosexual, little abomination starts screaming, somebody call the cops, somebody call the cops. This guy just rammed into me. So the truck driver, right, he's jacked off. He's like, motherfucker, you jammed your brakes on me. So the trucker was like, what the fuck did you say, bitch? He was like, you jammed your brakes on me. You better get your ass over here. I'm about to wreck that ass, boy. And all of a sudden, the gay dude was like, hold on, everybody. Don't call the police. It sounds like he wants to negotiate. I'm so gay. I'm so gay. Look, motherfuckers, it's Friday. I got the Friday 4. I hope I didn't fuck these links up. The first one comes from Long Beach Observer. Oh, Karen's, Karen's, Karen's in there. I don't feel comfortable because you got a camera and I'm a fucking crusty old fucking dry milk pussy. That's what it would look like. If these bitches in this fucking video would come, you know what it would look like? It would look like you had a handful of dry milk and you went... That's what it would look like if these bitches came. But that's what that one's about. The second one comes from Wolfie Gladly. It's been a while since I've seen this dude shit. I like this dude channel. But this is when the fucking... This dude just eats these pigs the fuck up. The third video comes from Jason K. Watkins. This is just an all-out illegal detainment. And the very fourth video comes from... Desperado Deluxe. This, he calls a swatting attempt. Let me know what you motherfuckers think about this motherfucker. Look, you folks know what time it is, man. Roll it up, twist it up, light it up, spark it up, shoot it up, whatever the fuck it is you do to get there. You're in a judgment-free zone over this bitch. I don't give a fuck what you do, what you say. I don't fucking care over this motherfucker. This is where the motherfuckers that believe in freedom of speech come and hang out. This is where the motherfucking patriots hang out. We don't give a fuck about your goddamn baby feelings over this bitch. And if that's you, then pour your motherfucking drinks. Let's bust up some weed, put some gas in the air, and get right into these motherfucking videos. Long Beach Observer's gonna kick us off. Show us about these fucking dusty old dry pussy ass cares, my dude. Let's fucking go. Also here to see if they uh, have an updated poster seven, and exactly why. Third reason, they have this Yelp review, this Yelp rating, I should say. A fourth thing we're gonna do here, actually, to add is we're gonna get a stamp. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get a 360 of this place. We're here in PV, Palos Verdes, a really rich area. As you guys can see, the ocean is oceaning as the Pacific Ocean shines. Right below us, right? We're above, we're a little above. We will be heading down that way soon enough, so stick tuned. Uh, without further ado, let's go on across the street and check it out. Wow, look who's right there in front of the post office. It's none other than Mr. Petey Peacock. Right in front of the post office, hanging out. That's gonna be a fun shot. Let's see if we can get a little closer. Hopefully he doesn't get scared and show his uh, his beautiful, his beautiful feathers. That's the last thing we would want to scare these guys. Oh my God, there's two of them. Do you see those often? What's that? Do you see those often? Oh, all the time. All the time, huh? Yeah, those, those aren't as dynamic as some of them. Some of them have... Huge wings. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're all over here. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> they're pretty cool, huh? Yeah, thank you. So yeah, it's pretty common here in PV to see these little guys. 
Honestly, it's my first time seeing them, and I've been here for years. All right, let's go on in and check it out. Hello. Hi. Really small post office. I'm sorry? What are you doing? I'm oh, just here at the post office. <clears throat> I'm not comfortable being filmed. Well, I'm not comfortable with your glasses. Oh. Do I need to call somebody? I'm happy to call somebody. Stop filming me. Who are you going to call? Ghostbusters? <laughs> so she says she's not comfortable. Uh, okay. I'm not comfortable. I'm not either. Why are you here? Who are you? To do business at the mail. Well, looks like we're both here on business. What's your business? Uh, don't worry about it. You ever heard about minding your own business? Yeah, this is a perfect time. Why don't I just film you too? Hey, don't film me. Hey, you're gonna film me, I'm gonna film you. Oh, so there's yeah, no- I'm at the post office in Malibu Cove and there's somebody in here filming and harassing the patrons. Harassing? Can you come over? Ma'am, you spoke to us first. I didn't harass anybody. Correct. Thank you. Looks like Karen called the police. We're here at the post office exercising our First Amendment right, and uh, looks like someone's upset about it. <laughs> hey, it's a camera party. Welcome. <laughs> Why are you filming? <laughs> You're like, I don't even have a skin. <laughs> Why are you filming in here? I'm sorry? Why are you filming in here? Oh, that's none of your business. You can't be rude to our customers. You can't deal with it. I'm not being rude. I'm just telling her it's none of her business. I'm sorry. Miss, I'm sorry if I. This is not your, none of your business. <laughs> Plain and simple, right? Do you have a permit to film? You need a permit to film in House Parties and States. No, that's not true. If it's commercial filming, you need a commercial. You need a permit. To oh, film. perfect. We're not doing commercial okay. filming. What are you doing? Uh, we can't really discuss that right now. Why not? We might uh, mess with our case we got going on here, a little story. A story for who? Once again, I can't disclose that kind of information. I've already said too much. Can you believe this guy? No. Is there something wrong? Uh, you tell me. You're the one with the big camera set up. You got a camera too. <laughs> I don't like being filmed, so if I'm going to be filmed, I'm going to film you back. Well, you're already being filmed by the post office. Are you going to film them back, too? Looks like she called the police. We're going to go ahead and wait for the police. Uh, we don't want to run away, right? It's the same one. It's the same thing. Okay. Playing some Marvin Bye. <laughs> Anyways, 
before we got approached by that lady, we were here to take some pictures of the post office, uh, shipping supplies, packaging. Oh, looks like she hasn't left. She's still, uh, maybe she's waiting for the police. Yeah. Anyways, nice posters, right? They got all this stuff up here, right? The rules and regulations, that's what we're here for. Uh, it's updated. Yeah, looks like it's looking good. They did have an old version back here. That's interesting that they just kind of covered it as opposed to putting it back there. But that's okay. Keep the mail safe, right? Uh, protect yourself from government scams, suspicious mail. Huh? No. Domestic hazardous labels. Uh, she's kind of just waiting over there. Time is three, uh, about to hit three thirty. So we've got an hour and thirty minutes. The latest one that has come out, the Manatee. All right. They don't have the baseball ones here. Those are great. Like I said, the latest one, the Manatee. We got a big safe in the back, two big safes, a couple of posters, uh, nice stamps, two ladies working the office. It's nice in here, I love it. This door is open, I wonder if we can go back here. Can we go back here? No? Um, there's, right, you guys should put a, a sign right here. It says employees only. No way, I won't miss. It says, uh, there's no restricted sign saying anything. Oh, okay, I see it. Hey, how's it going, boss? How are you doing? You should be back here. Yeah, there's no sign. It's obviously a workplace. All right, now it's a workplace. They closed it, yeah. I can see it now. Okay. What's, um, you have a question or a problem or? I'm sorry? You have an issue or? No, no issue. How are you doing today? Okay, I'm doing well, sir. That's not true. Don't listen to me. Well, I told the customer, it's none of your business, and apparently that's rude. Oh, this girl. Yeah, she was asking what I was doing. I told her it's none of your business, uh -huh. and that's rude. I didn't even say it, like, in a rude way. Okay. I just said, that's none of your business, miss. Please mind your own. Uh -huh. But I'm, apparently that's rude. Can I get your name and badge number for anything? Rotem, can I? Badge number 764. All right, appreciate that, respectfully. Yeah, we're just here taking some pictures. And just photos and all that good stuff. All that good stuff. <laughs> and may I ask, what is, what is it in regards to? You can ask, yeah, that's right, you can ask. Okay. Um, what is it in regards to? 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 Okay. Um, what is it in I might compromise a little story we got going on here today. Oh, you have a story going on for this particular location? For this particular location, yeah, this USPS, uh, Palos Verdes, right? Uh, Palos Verdes Estates. Estates, oh, excuse me. Yeah. It's on the car, too. Yeah, that's my car, right there, 725. Alright. Yeah, just working on a little story. As in regards to, if you don't mind disclosing. I, I do mind, actually, uh... Is it something in regards to a crime? I mean, something I can help you with? No, nothing you can help me with. I appreciate the offer, though. <clears throat> okay. Um, sorry, a quick question for you. Mm -hmm. Um, what is it She just told me, yeah. I know now. No, I didn't just tell you. I was telling you before you even touched the door. And then you still came back here. So how far did he, did he come back? Oh, there. Well, there's not 
That's when you came in. Oh, that's when I came? Okay. And there's a shadow on our outside door that says employees only. Oh, yeah, there is. I didn't see that. Mm -hmm. Looks like there's a sign right there. Okay. Oh, looks like the sergeant is here. Perfect. Can I ask you another question? Yeah. Um, like in regards to the employees, do you guys have like a law or something along those lines where people can have a lot of employees? We don't. We just try to so like I said before, you're well within your right. Um, Thank you, sir. You can't necessarily like bother the customers. Oh, she bothered me. She spoke to me first. I didn't even speak to her. Okay. I told you I didn't want to be filmed, and you said I have the right to be filmed. So you admit you spoke to me first, sir? Right? Yeah, I didn't bother her. No, I didn't. Mm -hmm. I did not say that. But I asked you what you were doing, and you told me that was none of my business. Are you saying that I spoke and to you I first? Said, I do not want to be filmed in this in this place with my personal mail and my addresses and things like that. And you said, I have, I, I don't care what I want, basically. That's not what I said. It's all I'm feeling. Did, did I ask, I asked you to stop filming me and you said no. I'm sorry? I asked you to stop filming me and you said no. Yeah, you don't have any right to tell me what to do. You don't have any right to film me when I don't want to be filmed. Actually, I do. <laughs> I have not given you consent to film me. And when well, I ask you specifically not to film me and you continue to do that, that's harassment. Yeah, because you're talking to me. against the law. If you're going to talk to me, I'm going to film you. That's, that's... You already been helped already? Yeah. yeah. So, and that's not harassment. Right? If you don't want to be filmed, you can just go home. This is a public place. That's right. This is a public place. I have every right to do it. Every right I have in this country. Here, in a public place. I should have the right to come into a public You have the right to go home. You have the right to put on a face mask, like me. Create your own privacy. Well, That's your right. This is a public place. She's I do, but exercising it's also, this it's also right, a place so. of business that I should be able to feel comfortable in. I don't know who he is, what he's doing, and I asked him to stop. And he said he right. Well, the same thing is like if you're on the curb and someone else is filming you, he can technically film me. It's just a public place. So, um, I, everyone who's come in here has felt uncomfortable right. and unhappy. That's a lie. Okay. The woman with her daughter just left because, and she's like, I'll come back because she didn't want to be involved in this. Okay. It's not okay. Okay. Oh, I just have to. I appreciate your concern. All right, miss. Thank you for wasting police resources. So, do you have any. Yeah, I pay taxes here. Do you live here? I pay taxes here. That's right. Yeah, I just paid. I just paid for gas earlier. Sales tax. So you got any questions for me, sir? No, officer. So, so as long as oh, actually, I do. I do have one question. Can I get the call ID? Put that down. Can you just not touch my shit? I'm just saying. If you, I know, but you just touch my shit. I'm just trying to sit so I can see your face. Look, now I gotta put on my body cam because you're getting a little too touchy, all right? Don't grab my stuff. I didn't grab it. I don't just grab so my stuff. Face. Don't grab my stuff. This is an extension of my property, right? Okay. So don't grab me. What if I grab your hat? That's an issue, right? Right. All right. Okay. So don't grab my stuff. So, all right. So what is wrong with so you? you, have, you all have right. We're questions? gonna make a complaint against you because you're over here grabbing. Do you do grab that it. often? Do you do that it. often? Do you often grab people's all stuff? All right. So I'm not gonna get him back. Your back. Yeah. Because now we're gonna create a disturbance. No. Let's let's deescalate, right? So you have a question. You have any other issues or concerns for me? Yeah. Can I get the call ID? Call ID, what do you mean? Yeah, you know, they call the police. Can I get the number? You mean the DR number? The DR, DR number, DR, whatever DR they call it on in this city. Sure. Hello, Sergeant. Can I get your name and badge number? Sergeant Aaron Belda, 731. Thank you, respectfully. You're welcome. Thank you, 9 DR. Right? Yep. I know what to do. You, you don't need any questions for me? You don't need to give me any directives. I'm just asking the question. Do you have any other questions for me? That's all. That's all I need. Thank all you guys. Right. All right. Have, have a day. great day. Stay yeah. safe. Okay. <clears throat> PVPD. Or should I say PVEPD?
She got all mad at me because I'm taking pictures in public, right? Never bothered her. Never. My girl. Mind your own business. Is that rude? I don't care. What the hell? It's not a crime to be rude. She was rude first. It is not a crime to be rude, especially when they're being rude to you back, right? You guys know here at Long Beach Observer, we only give back the energy they give us, right? Looks like poster seven is over here too. Uh, not really conspicuous, but it passes, right? I love this little entrance they got right here. Right. It's beautiful, beautiful little post office. Oh, you go for it, sir. Oh, got you. Thank you. Have a good day. What is he doing? He's left. He's right there. So you are allowed to, uh, first of all, right to go around and document stuff. So he just went, I mean, I've, I've followed, I've seen some of the videos on YouTube. They go around in public spaces and basically verify whether or not you're allowed to actually freely express your rights. I know it, they make you feel uncomfortable and stuff, but you know, we're recorded by everything cell phones, and cameras, everything yep. at all times. So there's the. And as well within his right. You want to be fine with it? No, that's not even a good time. Alright, have a good day, man. Looks like the officers came. Uh, they saw, they conquered, right? Wrong. I came, I saw, I conquered. Thank you, PVE PD, right? For respecting our rights, right? Posty 7, check. Our rights to record, check, right? Why they got this rating, uh, we haven't figured that one out yet. And also, the last one, our little stamp. Let's see if they got a penny stamp, right? The officers are gone. Uh, great interaction, thank you guys. Uh, here at PVP, PVE, Paul's Verde Estates. The clerk said I was being rude. What do you guys think? You guys think I was being rude? You might as well, let's replay it, boom. I'm sorry? Oh, that's none of your business. You can't be rude to our customers. Can't deal with it. Let's go back in. So we've got a dime for a penny. Let's get a snap. Are you open this? I love when they have this right here. Looks like they got the pens, all right? Don't steal the pens. Do not steal the pens. Me? I have I'm in line. I'm in line, I'm waiting. I want a stamp. I'm here for a penny stamp. I'm sorry? What's the camera for? Oh, we're here to record our interaction here at the post office. Wait, Stuff. I'll wait. No worry. No, no. 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 She has. I got All right. Can I get a receipt? Yeah. Thank you. There we go. We're just here taking pictures in public. Sir. 
Yeah. Well, print it or email it. Print. Thank you. Thank you, Vasuki. All right. So we're going to go ahead and finish this review. Uh, Vasuki's getting all these people in and out, right? Let's scan. Successful. We got our snap. Finished our review. And uh, yeah, we don't really got any more business here, right? So let's go on and get out of here. Thank you. This was the employee entrance. This is the sign she was talking about. I did not see this sign, okay? I did not see it. I'm sorry, that, you know, all right? Police officers came. Uh, one of them grabbed my stuff. Little punk, right? He's a little punk. He was talking about, can you move this? I can't see your face. Okay, too bad. I don't care if you can't see my face, right? That's the whole point. You're not supposed to see it. Yes. Who am I stalking? You're stalking my police officers. Did There's nothing in the statute that say that I cannot follow a police officer. There's nothing. Yes, it does. Where? Do you want me to read the stalking statute to you? Yeah. The way you yeah. were driving through that area, it's yeah. called prowling, sir, and you prowling. can give me a, a legal reason prowling. why you were there. You've refused to identify yourself. I don't have to. Yes, you Unless do. I committed a crime. Under the prowling statute, you do have to. You're a law while enforcement. You're, you're supposed to have more restraint than you have. I... I I'm restraining myself right now, am I not? From doing what? I'm trying to I'm trying to Restraining you, yourself from doing what though? From losing my temper, sir. Why would you lose your temper? You have been harassing my law enforcement officers all night long. No, I have not. Yes, you have. No, I'm not. Yes, you have. No, I have not. A trespass? Yes. I came here on official business and you're I trespassing. Know, now you have no How can you trespass me if I came here on official business? This is a corruption. This is what I'm if talking about. Corruption. This video was so good I nearly jizzed my pants. This video comes to us from 904 Cop Watch. He was a damn sensei in this video. You're about to watch this cop try everything in the book to put this man in cuffs, only to descend into one of the most embarrassing walks of shame that I've ever witnessed. Everyone, please go subscribe to 904 Cop Watch and let them know I sent you. Links are in the description. And I asked you for your name earlier. You didn't identify yourself. You asked me for my name? Yeah, when I pulled you over for not signaling. When you pulled me over? Well, you hit the lights in front of me, but I was... Yeah, when I flagged you down, I tried yeah, to get your attention. Yeah, I to see if you need help. Yeah, but you were on a signal and I asked for uh, your name and ID number. My name is Cruz. ID number? Okay, thank you. Okay. I'm going to inform you of the stalking statute in the state of Florida. Stalking? Yes. Who am I stalking? You're stalking my police officers. No. You're following my police officers, trying to provoke them into engaging in enforcement action. No, I'm not. It is illegal I to harass not. someone repeatedly to follow you someone. You are a public repeatedly. servant. You are a public There's servant. There's nothing in the statute that says anything that exempts police officers. It There's, says nothing, any in the, individual. There's nothing in the statute that says that I cannot follow a police officer. There's nothing. Yes, it does. Where? Do you want me to read the stalking statute to you? It says law enforcement. It doesn't apply. It doesn't, it doesn't apply exemption. to law enforcement. No, exactly. It have an exemption. I can for come law and record you, follow you on your work day no, all day. No, you're harassing us, sir. You're I, what did I do? Us. What did I do? I didn't you're use any threatening words. You're impeding our ability to do our job. No, I'm not. You have a history of battery on law enforcement. You have a history. A history? Of you have a history of resisting arrest with violence, mm -hmm. which gives my officers reason to be concerned about the fact that you are following. I'm them. concerned about your officers. Why are you concerned about my officers? Because your officers are corrupt and they lie. How are we corrupt and lying? The same reason I have that record is the same reason I know y'all corrupt and y'all lie. That's why I do so this. you can't give me a specific instance? I mean, what you go look in there. You already looked. So what are you talking about? When you illegally pulled me over. I didn't illegally pull yeah, you over. Yeah, you did. 
You had no probable cause. I ha- no, anyway. I don't need probable cause to pull you over. I need reasonable suspicion. Mm. Okay, reasonable suspicion. Mm. That you didn't you, have any. That you have, anyway, like you I said, said, that you have committed a crime, that you're about to commit a crime, or that you you may intend to commit a crime. The way but you I were didn't. driving, yeah. the way you yeah. were driving through that area, it's yeah. called prowling, sir. And you prowling. couldn't give me a, a legal reason prowling. why you were there. I didn't you have refused to. to. You've refused to identify yourself. I don't have to. Yes, you unless do. I committed a crime. Under the prowling statute, you do have to. Terry v. Ohio says I do not. Under the Florida, Florida statute, nine hundred one dot one fifty one says I do not. Under the problem Florida statute, statute 901.151. You must give me a legitimate reason. You're a law you're enforcement. There. You're supposed to have more restraint than you have. I, I'm restraining myself right now. Am I not? From doing what? I'm trying to. I'm trying to. Restraining you, yourself sir. from doing what, though? I'm trying to inform you, sir. Restraining yourself from doing what? From losing my temper, sir. Why would you lose your temper? Just because we're because having a you conversation. Because you have been harassing my law enforcement officers all night long. No, I have not. Yes, you have. No, I'm not. Yes, you. Have. No, I have not. Right. Are you a, are you an Orange Park resident? Does that matter? It does. Why? Because I'm about to ask you a couple questions that apply to it. Why? Have You're, I committed a crime? You, you live in Jacksonville, according to your driver's license. Have I correct? committed a crime? Have I committed a crime? Not yet. What do you mean yet? Not yet. So what does that mean yet? I'm not committing a crime you tonight. Follow one of my officers again. Because he's not signaling. If I would have said you yes, call, sir. you pulled me over and said after the fact you pulled me over illegally. You said you didn't signal. Right, it's because so you he you hadn't committed hold up. The only I reason gave you an example. The only an reason I follow him committed. is because when he pulled out of here, he didn't signal. Then he made a left up there. He didn't signal. Okay. Then I said, "Well, geez." All right. Well, you know what? He's not signaling. You know what the procedure, correct procedure is there? What's that? You call, call dispatch and say, "Hey, your officer's not signaling," uh, and his supervisor. That doesn't get anywhere, man. That doesn't get anywhere. That okay. doesn't get anywhere. But then what's going to happen? It's going to get back to you, and then right. you're not going to do anything. What did I tell you? Did I tell you to use your signal? I don't know. Reason, I don't know what you said. And that's the reason that he was he was do, telling you that was because I informed him that he hadn't used his signal the other night. Yeah. That's what I told you, correct? That's what I told him. I don't know that. Okay. I don't know that. He could be lying. Oh yeah, we all lie. Everything we say is, is a lie, right? Pretty much. The uh, Supreme Court basically said you guys don't even have to tell the truth during your investigation. You can lie. That's so right. yes, exactly. We yes. see people. Exactly. That's correct. Mm-hmm. Right. To the best of my knowledge, a Jacksonville resident, we are not your police department. Okay? Does that You're matter? Well, Whoa, if, if something happened to me out here, wouldn't you respond? Yes, sir, we would. Okay. In and this is Uni- in United States of America, and I can travel anywhere I want to. Yes, you can. Okay. Okay. But. I'm a taxpaying citizen. Now that you have your complaint form. Okay. You have no legitimate pur- purpose to be on this property. I'm talking to you right now. owned by the town of Orange Park. Owned by the town of Orange Park? It is. It's not public? No, it's owned by the town of Orange Park. They own it. Town property. They own this. Yes. The town. It's Orange Park Town but property. But it's public. It's owned by the town it's of Orange public. Park. It's public. Okay. The people of Orange Park pay their taxes, which fund you, the city officials, Correct. Correct. that pay for these buildings, these roads, these lights, those cars, your uniform. Okay? So okay. this is public. This is public. Stop trying to do that, man. This is public. This is to inform you that Florida State Statute 810.08 and 810.09 makes it illegal for you to be on the property described above, that being 2025 Smith Street, the Orange Park Police Station. Who said that? What is, what is that? To you, sir. What is that for? This is a trespass warrant. A trespass? Yes. I came here on official business and you're I trespassing. Know, you have no. How can you trespass me if I came here on official business? This is a corruption. This is what I'm if talking you about. Return, corruption. If I return on official business, what? You can have someone bring that for you. I don't you need. No, no, no. What kind of mess is that? No, 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 no. I can come here on my own. I can come here on my own and return this. What are you trying to do, man? Why are you? Why are you sitting here saying I can't return here? Because I'm. I'm tired of you harassing my law enforcement officers. I'm tired of I you didn't harass my you. law enforcement officers. I didn't officers. harass you. You are too. You illegally pulled me over. I did not illegally yes, you pull did. you over. Yes, I you have, did. I had reasonable suspicion. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. I had reasonable No, you didn't. Suspic- you know what? Suspicion of what? What crime? Prowling. That's not a crime. It is a crime. You want me to read a you the crime? statute? A crime? Prowling is a crime? Yes, it's a misdemeanor. Really? It is. Okay. What's suspicion? I had reasonable Because I never even suspicion. got out of my vehicle. You don't have to get out of your vehicle. Really? So how do you know what I was doing? I don't. That's why exactly. So why would you just you make something up? You, you why would you just make something up? 
Because I don't have to help you in your investigation. You, you, you wouldn't. I don't have to help you in your investigation. Sir, you have your complaint form. They're free to leave. Thank you. Are you going to throw that in the trash or are you going to file that illegally? I'm going to file I'm it gonna, illegally. I'm gonna, no, I'm going to consult I, with the state attorney's office. State attorney's office. And see if this is. Wow. If I can legally trespass you from you, the property. You're trying to illegally trespass me because I came here on official business. Did I say I'm because trying to I illegal need, prosecute? I said I'm going to consult sir, with the state attorney's office. Sir, Did I not? Well, before I said anything about it being illegal, you were going to just buff it through. Okay? So don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. You're free to leave. You're free to leave. This I is public. Here. I work here. This is public. Don't come stand behind me now. What? It's public. I got the right to be here. Okay, here you right? go. This is the intimidation move. Why am I intimidating you? This is the intimidation move. My hands are in my well, you still got a gun. I don't know. My you got a taser gun. Uh huh. Here you go. Like just get in the car and leave. Get in the car and leave. Hey, people are afraid to go to war, but they do it. Get in the car and leave. Y'all say y'all afraid, but y'all signed up to be no, police officers. Right oh man, whatever. He's not gonna hit me. I don't think he wants that insurance going sky high. Okay? You're wearing all black. Come on, man. We're wearing navy blue. Actually. Oh, it's dark though. Right. Come on, man. But I got this like bright thing that reflects light off of headlights. So That's fine. That's fine. I don't want you to get run over in the side. Please don't act like you care about my safety when you illegally pull Sir, me over. I'm concerned about the safety of my officers where you're concerned. Why? Because of your history of assault on law enforcement officers. Mm. You signed up for the job. Anybody who watches this video ought to, you know, should know that. You signed up for this job. I Anybody guess. who watching this video know law enforcement lie. Yeah. Okay. okay. How okay. many times have we lied about about you uh, resisting law violence then? How many times have we lied about you? Multiple times. Multiple times. Okay. How, what's the history? How many times is this history? How many times? Five, ten times? Or less than two? Or, you you it, did it. You should know. It's literally less than two. So what do we... How, what's less than two? Either know. zero or one. Come on, man. Okay. What's have less than two? Either have zero or one. What's less than two? Zero or one. So it's in the system, so that means if it's less than two, it can't be zero, so it must be one. Let's do the math. So you just admitted that it's true. Thank you. Well, I, I admitted that I got the charge. I didn't admit that I did it. Come on now. Thank you. Have a good day. All right, you have a wonderful one, sir. Bye. What? What are you looking for? I'm waiting on you to leave. I don't want you to pull behind me again. It's Monday morning. Don't you have kids to get to school? Nope. I thought you had Home school. Home school. Okay. COVID. Homeschool, COVID. Okay. Alright. Wouldn't you much rather be at home with your family, your wife, and your kids than out here harassing us? I'm a night owl. Okay. Alright. Yep. I spend a lot of time with my family. Okay, well, you know, I'm, I'm really, I'm really. It, it's like when guys go to the gym or they go play flag football, this is what I do. Okay. Uphold the Constitution because you guys are violating it. Yeah. Yeah. No response, huh? I took an oath to the Constitution and I You took an oath to the Constitution and you're corrupt. And you're corrupt. Sir? And you're corrupt. If that's your opinion, you're free to have it. It's an it's an inaccurate opinion, but you're free to have it. That's fine. That's fine. Look at them piggies walk away. You better get your department right. I'm going to be on y'all ass. You better get your department together. Make sure they're following the law, not violating people's constitutional rights. Okay. Hey. We'll see. How's it going? Going good, sir.
Is your first time getting pulled over or what, dude? Yeah. Okay, just because you're acting real nervous, man, so... Yeah. I mean, do you not have anything illegal in the car that I should no, be worried about? Just, any weapons or anything like that? No, I don't. I was in where I thought it was 65 here, no. sir. So I'm Sergeant Estrada with the Gordon Police Department, right? So what's what's the reason for the speed today, brother? Is this the first time being pulled over, or have you been pulled over before? No? Okay. Okay. For anything, or...? I'm just having a conversation, that's all. Simple conversation, right? That's all it is, dude. What's up? I understand. Um, so with that, with that man, um, that's I have a I have a couple quick questions. You seem like kind of nervous, okay? And like I said, I think it could be because of the the reason because you got pulled over by the police and you'd never been pulled over before, right? Like you said. So that's that's one reason, you know, but to the point where normal people that get pulled over by the police, they are nervous, but not extremely nervous, like you see. I'm not that nervous. No? Okay. No, I understand. And so that's, like I said, you're not, you're just speeding. That's all it is. But the thing is, though, is that as far as police work goes and investigations, we do deal with a lot of different things on, side, you know, on the side of the road and stuff, and then people are doing things that they're not supposed to, okay? So I'm going to ask you straight up, man. Inside your vehicle, okay, is there... nothing in there. Okay. I, I don't have anything. I, I understand, but just this, i got to ask, man, just because of, for investigation okay, purposes. We'll, 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 yeah. No uh, grenades, bombs, no. rocket launcher, anything really crazy? Uh, do you give my officer consent to search the vehicle? I don't. No? I'm, I'm being serious. The thing is, though, is that if I believed everybody on the street, I wouldn't be really good at my job, would I? They can smell up to... And I understand. Like I said, it's just, I gotta I do my like, job at the end of the day. I feel like it's not really bad, so. Yeah, and see, that's, well, you're you're entitled to your opinion, but and not, so but I'm not, entitled to what I have to do as a, as a police officer. Yeah, it's because I do, it's a lot of police work. I've been I doing mean, this for almost 10 years, brother, I mean, and the way you've been giving off the indicators, it kind of shows me a little bit of red flags. Like what? what the nervousness. Well, the nervousness is one. I mean, it's not really right. it's not really right. And I get it. We, like we said, it could be just because you got pulled over. But like I said, we, we've done this for a while where we know something's up. And I'm not saying something's up with you. Okay? But since you gave us... You didn't give us verbal consent to, uh, to search your vehicle. Of guess what? Not, we, yeah. It's my, it's my, that's, and it's that's my, fine. it's my, it's my and right. right. No, and we're not here, we're not here to, we're not here to violate any of your rights. Yeah, I, but I thing is, like, there's reasonable like, suspicion as far as but, that. But that's keeping me, before. are you keeping me detained here then? Until the dog comes? Yes. Because now I have reasonable suspicion that For something what? might be well, in there. What's the reasonable suspicion? That there might be narcotics inside the vehicle. Well, we'll give her that. Just your behaviors. But that doesn't really... There's a known traffic, uh, there's a known... Route that there's a known route that people Just, take with narcotics. It's, it's a US, this run, it's a US route. I ten. I mean, everybody can travel a, on the it's, roadways. It's a US route, though. It's Definitely, a, and it's it's a it's a highway. And you are correct. So I mean, it's I pull highway. over people every day on this on this highway on that highway. But I don't believe your so, concern is valid, though, sir. I just and want to that's something home. that you can probably bring up in court if there is something inside the vehicle. But there is nothing in the vehicle. And I don't know that. But you don't have to know that because there's nothing in there. And I understand. But the thing is, though, is I don't know you. You don't. I don't know. I don't know you don't know me. The thing is, though, is I'm doing an investigation at this time because of the indicators that I'm going to receive. That's all it's on. But I don't believe I have to stay here. Well, you could, you're free to leave, but the vehicle has to stay here until I get my, my investigation vehicle, done. My vehicle can go, though, sir. If you would like to, then you could be placed under arrest for obstruction. It's not obstruction, though. I don't have anything. I don't want... I understand. Like I said, you can say no to. Uh, you can give us. Why would I be? I don't really care about marijuana. I'm caring about the shit that's putting people I, I, away. Yeah, but I don't feel that I need to be in, like investigated. And I understand. Like I said, it's just police work, man. That's all we're doing is the indicators that we've seen. That's what we go off of. It's reasonable suspicion. Okay. Suspicion? Reasonable I don't, suspicion. I don't think it's reasonable at all. I think that's well, I mean, that's something that your peers, and if you have to go to court because there is something inside the vehicle, that's something that your peers at the, in the courtroom can decide. But as far as right now, I have independent reasonable suspicion, and that's all I need in the state of New Mexico. Independent reasonable suspicion? Yes, sir. I think that's... 
Like I said, your opinion, I, this is America, man. You're yeah, entitled yeah, to your opinion, but yeah, I mean, it doesn't I mean that you're right. I don't it doesn't mean that I'm right. I don't think you're, it, it's your opinion to have that reasonable suspicion, even though it's not reasonable at all. Who says them? Is that your opinion? Or it's, it's your opinion. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I don't think you have. And I have, right now, you are assume. legally detained at this time for, what? for speeding. And I think it was further now going into an investigation further about something that possibly could be in your vehicle. Yeah, so I mean, if the canine does show up and it does hit, I'm just going to be straight up with you. If it does do an indicator that something may be in it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to seize your vehicle. I'm going to no. conduct a search warrant. And then I cannot go into your vehicle until that search warrant is by the judge. So that's that's where we're at. I don't think that's reasonable at all. I think that's incredibly... Yeah, and I'm sorry I that you feel I that think, way, but I it's think, just what I we th do every day, every day. I think, I think, it has nothing to do with you personally. I, I, I don't even personal. know you. I know it's not personal. The thing I is, is that this is where we're going on. I feel like it just targeted, really. How is that? I don't know you. Yeah, I know. It's just, I'm just coming home. I know, but the thing is, though, is a reasonable person... And like I said, you have your rights. Believe me, you have your rights. You have your rights. Yeah, you are protected. Because you, you keep you keep trying to yeah. reach for that pocket. Is it okay if it, I touch you down real quick? Just make sure you got nothing on you. Because yeah, you, you keep can, reaching you for can that pocket. Down, but turn, I don't turn, have turn around for me. I don't and know where it's you're just, on my face you, you just keep putting your hands in your pocket. Because it's, it's not but nice. It's, it's not I understand. Good. And like I said, we're not violating anything. Everything is being recorded. So just understand that, okay? And we're doing everything by what the New Mexico state law requires us to do and allows us to do, okay? So as far as... You can go ahead and put that down As far as I understand... And then just put your pocket for me, please. As far as what we're... Anything else you have on? No. Okay, my pocket. So as far as like I'm saying, man, I know that you're trying to get home. We're trying to let you get out of here as soon as possible, but we're trying to figure out what what's um, any reasonable person as well, bro. If we ask, usually, you know, and like I said, you have your rights. Usually, if I ask somebody on the side of the road, hey, do you have it's, anything it's, illegal? It's, and if it's my, it, a reasonable person would deny a search. Not necessarily. Yes, it would. It's my right. And it's your right, it's your property, but I mean, yes, it's my... it just as a police officer, there is but certain I... things that we look for that indicate certain things and red flags. So, I mean, you're not doing anything wrong, per se. Or... Are you keeping me detained here, then? Until the dog comes? Yes. But you are legally detained at this time. For what? I just want to get back home before I, I, I understand. I understand, man. It's 8.30 here. So, yeah. when you get there... So the thing is, though, is that's where we're at now, okay? So, uh, no, at this time, uh, you can just stand here with us. Um, and as far as right now going back to the vehicle, I would like for all of us to stay out of the thing is this is where we're going on. I feel like it's just targeted, really. How is that? I don't know you. Yeah, I know. It's just, I'm just coming home. I know, but the thing is, though, as a reasonable person, you have your rights. I do have you my have rights. Your rights. You have your rights. You have everything on your person, because you keep, you keep trying yeah. to reach for that pocket. Is it okay if it, I touch you down real quick? Just make sure you have everything on you? Because yeah, you keep reaching it, it, it for that pocket. It's coming down, but I don't have anything. Sir, we asked you for consent to search your vehicle, and that's your right. And, and that's right your right, yes. No, yes, absolutely. And I guess but we, we can go another route. Dog, then fine, yes, and then we have to we have to bring a dog just to make sure everything's okay. If everything's okay, then guess what? We'll give you your citation. You'll be good to go, okay, man? I don't think anything. Okay, well, I mean, we're beyond that now, man. The dog's coming, dude. So, we'll, we'll take it from there. If the dog... The vehicle until the dog comes. Do you have any questions so far? What's the red flag up here? Well, it's like we told you before, man. Um, Being nervous? Because, because uh, that, that because gets off. The, 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 like I, I, I don't think that's reasonable at okay. all. And it's not just going off of your uh, nervousness, man. It's going off of route of travel, going off of the story that you've given us yeah. so far. I mean, there's a lot of things. We're just going to have to do a search warrant and then figure out what we do from there. Um, you are more likely to come with us and not handcuffs. You can, you're can, you not detained. We're going to be using Border Patrol canine. Okay. So the thing is, those they use, they, they smell all kinds of things. Yeah. Narcotics, people, money. That's what we. That's the only canine that we have in yeah. this location. Okay. I wish we had a canine here because then it would have been easier, but we have to call for a canine. And that's what we do. It's a normal thing that we do on the highways when there's something that we feel is more. Okay. <clears throat> uh, 
Um, if you'd like to, yeah, you can so just talk right here if you'd like to. Yeah, that's fine. Just, and like I explained to you, man, you're free to start walking if you like. It's just the car needs to stay here until I am a 100% okay. <clears throat> and like I said, you can look up New Mexico law if you'd like to. It's just what we do on a day-to-day -day thing. So, I mean, I've... I've pulled over thousands of vehicles, and I've had a couple of vehicles that are somewhat the same. You know, not want to talk to us. Like I said, it's up to you. If there is, like I said, man, if there is marijuana in there, obviously the dog is going to probably hit. If there's something that's so he's trained for marijuana too, but he's trained for all, all narcotics. Yeah, I don't have any of that. Yeah, so he's trained for all narcotics, man. So thing is, like I said, I mean, we're going to have to just see what we do as far as. If a dog indicates or not. Okay. Like I said, I mean, it's a, it's a hassle, man, but I appreciate your cooperation with all of it. It's just, it's not, it's not something that we don't do on a daily basis. We do this all the time. No, no, uh, we would have placed you in handcuffs. Um, we already checked that you had no weapons. So that's the thing. You would go in back of one of the units. We take you to the police department. You can hang out there until we finish. And then once we search the vehicle, if there isn't anything inside the vehicle, because I mean, like I said, man, there's there's hundreds of things that can be inside a vehicle, but we won't know until we get inside of it. You're looking at the you're looking at the most probably about two to three hours, maybe. Because always, if we would have, and it's your right to deny consent, that's 100% your right to. But as officers, we got to go further if we fill some things up. Okay, if you would have given us consent to search, you would have probably been already almost halfway home. But that's your right. That's your right. So we're gonna, we're not gonna penalize you for anything. It's only narcotics. It's not gonna yeah, do no, I prescription know. or I mean anything like that. It's yeah. gonna be for illegal stuff. So. What's that? Uh, it should be coming here pretty quick, man. We can get an ETA, um, but like I said, it's it's coming pretty quick. He's the one with the canine. So right now. Right now, if you want to just hang out here, um, just, are like, uh, what do you call it? something that goes afterwards, yeah, like what happens if I yeah, say no? Like a repercussion. No, no, you're, you're free to say no. It's like the way I fail to take my car and go home. That's a, these guys are dangerous. It's so, uh, you tell me the dog hit on the passenger side. On the passenger side? Yes, sir. Um, just, we're gonna have to stop and get a search warrant. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. So that's the thing. Now that we have probable cause with the canine, now we can go further. Yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna seize your vehicle and we'll go from there. Like can I said, I, you're just, free to leave. Can but I go can I, is it gonna take long if if how long would it's it? It's gonna search? take time, brother. It's probably yeah. gonna take two or three hours, man. That's that's two just straight up on us. Yes, we just gotta test out the warrant. I just we gotta get them cut. Oh. Okay. I, I get that brother. Like can I, I said, can, you're can I free. Wait, can I wait with y'all and just do this? Like I said, man, it's just if there's something in there, you could have just been honest with us and you're going to yeah, save the yeah, whole yeah. trip, you know. But I, I wouldn't know if there's even anything in there, honestly. Have a seat, man, and then um, you could definitely, like I said, you're just going to be so just have a seat, man, and then there's a seatbelt right here if you want to put that on yeah, for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go from there, okay? From there, but as far as on the way up, I would call the DA and just ask Medina since it did hit. Do we detain him or is he free to leave? Because I think we detained. See the teacher here at UCSB, and um, that one of these like construction worker dudes was like parking by her house, right? And she told this dude she didn't want parking near her house, and this dude approaches her with the phone, and she says, "You're one of those Tijuana people or something, right?" And you know that they want to construe that as racism, but really it's not because there's plenty of white people who live in Tijuana who commute to work here in the U.S. and um, Hi, how you doing? Good. Am I interrupting something? Yeah, I'm recording. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah, what's wrong? Nothing's wrong. I just wanted to talk to you real quick. I was talking to somebody earlier this morning. Yeah. They were concerned about you because they said you were yelling at people walking by and stuff. I wasn't. Days ago. When?
couple, couple of days. days. Like yesterday, they said you were, you were yelling and you seemed like you were in distress. And you're actually yelling like you were swearing at people and they thought you were really angry. Are you are you all good? Yeah, I'm fine. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, this didn't happen like earlier today or yesterday? No? No, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Is it okay if I just grab your name real quick? Yeah, my name is Jonathan Hind. Oh, okay. I, we talked last week. You're in your, I think you're in your tent. H-I-N-D-E. H-I-N-D-E. J O N A T H A N. J O N J O H A. J O N A T H A N. And Jonathan, what's your birthday? 7390, July 3rd, 1990. 7390? Yeah. Okay, are you from Santa Barbara? I'm from Thousand Oaks. Okay. Originally, yeah. But I've lived, I've been here working for about a year or two. I was working at La Patera Ranch at Dick Wolf's house, oh, putting okay. up a new building. Okay. There's his new home going up. Are you still doing that, or are you? Doing I that? haven't been, but I'm looking for work right now. All right. Do you know how to reach out for help if you did need something? Like, if you need some. There, there isn't anything that helped me. Okay. There's no resources that will help me. Well, I don't know what you mean by resources for help. I mean, I know there's like a couple of places to get food and there's a couple places there's like a mental health thing or something, but I don't even I don't know what the deal is or what what I don't know what yeah. what you mean by help cuz I help myself by going to work and I've worked really hard here in Santa Barbara to get on my feet. I've been assaulted multiple times. Anytime I've called the police, you protect the person who's assaulted me and you look at me as if I'm the perpetrator. So, and frankly, I know that there's a gang here. They're called Securitas. And they're a group of people who pose as a security group. And they're a gang. And they're affiliated with the cartel. And I don't, I'm not sure, but it could be anybody. It could even be police officers. It could be anybody. People who work for anyone and anywhere. Right. And I've been stalked. So I've been harassed. Well, I've angry? been stalked and I've been threatened and I've had murder attempts on my life. Hey, Jonathan, how you been? I'm all right. Yeah, it's been a while since we talked. You moved out of uh, yeah. It's area? it's all flooded and stuff there. Oh, it is. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Everything been good? I mean, it sounds like uh, you're working and now you're not right now. I remember you talked about how it's been to too hard to go to work because I get harassed by gang members. Sorry, man. I don't like when you get harassed. I don't even know why you're approaching me right now because it's like I have no idea. This lady was trying to get one of these ducks that has a hurt wing, and I was trying to assist her, and I've just been doing that for the last hour or so. I just move around wherever I can because I can't stay anywhere because everywhere I go one of these security guard people shows up and records my information and spreads it to a large group of people in the community. I know, I know, I mean there's been times where, you know, there's two sides to every story that we get, right? You tell us something and someone else tells us something, right? We have to look through everything and figure out if a crime occurred or anything. Right now I know my partner's... Who calls you? I don't... I'll tell you straight up, somebody earlier today he said, hey, can you check on that guy because and he was pointing to you. He said because you were yelling, you were yelling at vicinities of people walking by or, or riding their bikes by and they were concerned for your welfare. And if that was really happening, it's our job to... I wasn't you know, yelling at anybody walking by. Well, maybe they were lying, but that's why, that's why I'm here. Two sides to every story. Yeah. That's why we like. That's why we like. Yeah. Well, it's probably. Like yeah, for sure. But yeah. like I said, it's probably somebody who's in that security group, and um, I don't know. They they slander. They harass me. They say things that aren't true about me in an attempt to get me either assaulted or arrested or anything. 
and um, really this is and these people are a multinational group they're associated with neo-fascists and the cart in the Mexican cartel so <clears throat> these people are domestic terrorists and they should be investigated if you're not aware of it you should be Yeah, it was coming over here. It was over here a little bit ago. There's a duck with a hurt wing. It's in the pond. There's also an, there's two ducks in the in the pond that have a hurt wing. You got trapped. Oh, yeah, it's really just the. Are you doing like a live stream or what? No, I'm just recording. Oh, just recording. That's pretty. Is that hot sauce duck feet? No, it's just a weight to keep the to help the box fall down when I pull a string because it, the box won't fall fast enough if I don't. So that's what it's for. Um, I wasn't really planning to, but yeah. somebody came and they were they needed help, so I took my clothes and stuff off, and I and it, it kind of ended up being a mess. And I've been busy doing stuff. I'm recording, and I've been uh, making videos to record everything that's been happening to me. Well, we're recording too. So that's fine. That's, we do. that's yeah. fine. That's fine. I remember talking to you by uh, the coffee bean. And I do remember even then, like, you're very articulate. You're obviously an intelligent person. Well, yeah. And like, and when that was happening, I told this guy at Trader Joe's, he came close to me. He rushed close to me. I told him not to come close to me, and he did it again. Yeah. I told, and it's, it's threatening behavior, and I don't appreciate it. You're eating a papaya or a guava. Yeah, I was eating, a, it was a, it's like a papaya or something. It was like a fruit I had from the store. I have I don't go over to Trader Joe's is often anymore because every time I go over there I get her uh, I get harassed often and um, also I've I've had to deal with a lot of problems with, with people at that coffee bean too and I don't really like going in there either you're all right I guess I'm just saying like you know yeah God bless you guys okay have a nice day I don't know who called you or what the problem is I've been here for the last couple hours and sitting here quietly for the most part and here's another fucking thing, okay? Here's another fucking thing. This is what I want to know. Why the... Did you motherfuckers know that Iran has shot many, 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 many missiles at U.S. targets? Did you motherfuckers know that? You probably didn't know that because nobody in the media is, is, is fucking talking about it. This is another thing. If, you're, if you've ever paid attention to presidential elections, this is what I'm... What the... Listen... We're damn near halfway through this year. The election is at the end of this motherfucker. Why is there no coverage? Why is nobody fucking campaigning? It's like these motherfuckers know something that we don't know. What the fuck do you motherfuckers know? What do you bitches know? And then, and then, Iran's talking about, they, they send warnings to the U.S. every single day. They are very, very, very open and blunt about how much they hate us. And they talk about having their own sleeper cells in the United States that are just waiting for orders to just create fucking chaos. This is the thing I don't think most of these motherfuckers understand, though. See, in the United States, there are 70 million registered gun owners. Those are the ones that the police actually know about. Those are the ones that the government actually know about. Those are the ones that do that get firearms illegally. Then, friends, there's motherfuckers like me who get guns illegally from the fucking cartels that Biden let in that live down at the end of the block. Since they moved in, my motherfucking arsenal has skyrocketed. I will absolutely take that fucking $12,000 M16 for 200 bucks. I don't care what you do with the money. I will gladly take it because it's better in my hands than it is in yours. Just know that I'm probably going to kill you if it came down to it. With, your, with the gun that you sold. The reason that I say that is to say this. With all the gun owners in this country, these motherfuckers think they're just gonna ransack fucking cities and towns like they, like, like fucking Hamas did over, over in the fucking Middle East. Motherfucker, we ain't gonna fight back with rocks and sticks and twigs and shit. We, we, we are gonna unload on you motherfucker. I can't wait for this fucking day to come. I am gonna un-fucking-load my whole entire property 
is going to have fucking heads on spikes of motherfucking immigrants who have tried to come into this country and kill me and my family. I mean, I'm still going off since the beginning. But anyway, look, I, what the fuck did you guys think of the videos? Because I lost track of the goddamn videos. I'm all, I'm, so what do you motherfuckers think, man? Make sure you motherfuckers let me know in the comments. I read every single goddamn one of them. Very special thank you to the four channels I highlighted today. That was Long Beach Observer, Woofy Gladly, Jason K, Kins, and Desperado Deluxe. If you are unfamiliar with these channels, I always leave all the original links in the descriptions. Click on them, head on over, let them know we just get fucked up. We was watching their shit. We love them, we support them, and we got their back over this motherfucker. For even more content you don't see on this channel, join us at the SRS MPGH Facebook group. My dude Chris will keep you motherfuckers entertained with shit all day long you don't see on this motherfucking channel. I always post interesting shit on Twitter, but I'm always fucking big. So, if you want to hang out with me on Twitter, us first MPGH, come find me over there. We'll have some fun. We'll cause some fucking trouble. We'll get paid together. We don't give a fuck. All that being said, motherfuckers, put your drinks up in the air. Put your titties up in the air. Lick a nipple. I don't give a fuck what you do. Your cigarettes or coffee. Your roll of toilet paper. If you're on the shitter right now, I don't give a fuck what you got in your hand. Put it up in the motherfucking air. Just know that you are important, cared for, valuable, and un- fucking believably appreciated, especially to me over this motherfucker. If no one's told you folks yet today, just know I love you over this bitch, and I will see you motherfuckers tomorrow evening. Cheers, guys. Stay safe. Through all the pain Tried to keep myself sane Made the same in the skin I'm so lost, so lost.